guys welcome today I am going to be showing you how to make a uh, pumpkin jack-o-lantern okay uh, it's gonna be from paper and it's gonna be really quick really simple and it's a decoration that you can use for Halloween you can use it at your school you can use it at home you could give it to a friend um, so I'm gonna tell you the materials that you need okay you need paper pretty much you need black paper cardboard would be nicer uh, orange paper some green paper if you like and then whatever color it is that uh, you have at home or you could get you could use you could also find like cardboard that you have from a cereal box and you could also use that type of uh, of cardboard and those colors also I'll show you that later all right so you need that you need a pencil you need a pair of scissors big if you have big hands small if you have smaller hands all right and you're gonna need a glue stick and this is pretty simple to do so the first step that we're gonna do is take your orange card okay we're gonna put it on the table and with the help of both hands we are going to fold it okay fold it in half the horizontal way not vertical horizontal okay so like that you have this type of fold I'll show you I've been doing this in class this week to decorate the classrooms in uh, at my school and it's coming out really nice the classrooms are coming out very pretty so pretty much let me show you a trick okay we are going to be cutting from the fold in okay from the fold in we never cut from the two sides in because then we break the paper and we won't be able to use it so what I usually do is make a mark I make a mark in the middle of the paper okay I start drawing from the fold as you see here in the middle I make a little line that goes not all the way through just to here all right and the way that I measure this is with my eye I don't use a ruler I take half of this space okay and I make another line and I stop right here because I don't want to cut all the way through and in between these two spaces I make two other lines and two other lines and I stop and then on this side I do the same I cut the paper in half well I draw the, the line in half but not all the way to the end so I just put that mark sometimes so you remember that you cannot cut all the way through because if not the paper breaks and we cannot make the pumpkin okay so this is gonna be a jack-o-lantern this is what you're supposed to end up with with your paper with all these lines drawn remember you draw from the fold up not all the way up because then the paper breaks and you cannot use it okay so now I'm gonna cut when we begin cutting okay this is the way we do it we start from the fold remember always start from the fold if not the paper breaks okay I always start from the middle and I go one side why because that's the way I do it you don't really have to start from the middle and if you see that two lines are not perfectly um, as thick or as thin then what you can do is just cut in between two lines and that will be fine too you just your your little uh, lines will be thinner and that's it and that's fine okay so here's me cutting it of course my lines were not straight and when I cut them they become a little bit straighter all right so this is what I have now all right I open it like this and what I'm gonna do so we don't see the pencil lines is I'm gonna fold it towards the other side okay so I'm gonna fold the whole thing towards the other side all right fold it really well so we don't see the paper and then I'm gonna open it up like this okay now what do I do I need to make a jack-o-lantern so I want the, the light to come through all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just glue this with the glue stick just put glue on one side okay on the end just like this and the first thing that we're gonna do is make like a lantern all right now I'm gonna fold it around like this okay I'm gonna hold it together I always tell my students to hold it together for like 10 seconds okay so we count one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I know how to count. And then we have this little jack o' lantern that we are going to be creating, okay? So we have here the lantern. Now we're going to start putting all the, um, the different the eyes, the nose, the mouth, okay? And even some leaves if you want to place some leaves on it, okay? Anyways, so now we take a black cardboard, any black cardboard, a little piece. It could be a piece of a cereal box if you like or any other piece that you have laying around at home so you just don't waste uh, cardboard, all right? What am I gonna do here is cut, I'm gonna cut um, a piece, a long piece like this because I don't like wasting, I always recycle and reuse. So it's there. And now I am going to make two big triangles for the eyes. One and two, all right? And these are gonna be kind of like the eyes. By the way, happy Halloween. It's coming soon. I hope we get lots of candy. And we're gonna try to leave one line in the middle just in case we have to put the nose on. Then we could put it here. If not, it's gonna be tricky, but it's gonna be okay. So, the eyes go here, you glue stick it. They don't have to be glued all the way through. No, to the other side, no, they could just, you know, hang like that a little bit. Doesn't have to be glued the whole way. So, we put glue on the other one, and we put it right here, okay? And what we do to make it nicer is, I am going to take some color to put in the inside because I like really lovely eyes. And I love um, purple for Halloween. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut uh, two little eyeballs, two little circles. I just cut a little piece of paper. You know, I don't cut it in the middle because we wanna save paper for other art projects that we have, all right? So what I do is I take a little piece of paper, I fold it in half like this, and I just, or I draw a circle on it just like that, if you need to draw it. Or I just cut the circle out because I have lots of time cutting out little circles on papers. So here we go. I cut out the little circle. If I make a mistake, I just make it smaller and it's okay. And with glue stick again, you take your two little circles for the eyes and you put it on your jack-o'-lantern here and here okay Ooh, look how scary now i'm going to take another piece of paper for example this one it's just a tiny little piece that i cut when i was cutting the eyes and i'm going to make smaller circles and those circles are going to go in the middle they're going to be like the you know the inside of the eye There we go. I just cut around and around and around. As you see, when I cut, I always keep my scissors up. And what I do is I move the paper around like this, okay? And I just open and close my scissors. Okay, that's the way to cut and, and be able to go on the line or be able to make it nice. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Now the jack-o'-lantern is going to be looking at me. Or at you. Mm -hmm. Now we need a nose, right? So let's put a nose on. Ooh, perfect. So here we go, I have my nose. And one thing that I wanna show you how to do is the mouth. Okay, let me just hold it for a second so it comes out nice. Kind of crooked, but it's okay. I love it. There we go. Now the mouth, I have to show you how to do and you really have to look at this because the mouth is kind of tricky, okay? It's gonna be a smiley mouth, or it could be also a sad mouth. You could do whatever type of mouth you want, but I just want you to see how to do it. For this, we're gonna have to use pencil, okay? Now, like I like smiley mouth, mouths, I'm going to make a happy pumpkin. Ooh, that broke. Okay. So I'm gonna make a happy pumpkin just like this. So I make like a happy face, and then, I am going to make three lines across it, okay? The next step is to go around that line without touching it and making this mouth look like 
a zombie mouth or maybe like a skeleton mouth or maybe we call it a scary type mouth okay there we go now being very careful okay for those of you that have little hands please use little scissors for those of you that are older use the bigger scissors we cut all around our line being very careful not to cut ourselves okay and what we're gonna get is this very skeleton-y halloween-y looking mouth and you're gonna love it because it's gonna be very scary okay then at the edges you can make it like a triangle you can make it like a square you can make it circular i'll show you that in a little bit but for now just cut around the line just like this okay now you could do this at home because i have lots of students that um i was not able to do this with this week because we've had field trips and we've had like outings and there's lots of stuff so i haven't been able to do it with them in all the grade levels but this you could do at all grade levels you could do it from first to sixth grade and it's just a nice decoration to have at school or at home okay now this is very important when we use the glue stick we always put the glue where the pencil mark is because i don't want the pencil mark to show i want the nice black to show so no pencil mark just the black I want the black to show so I'm gonna take the glue stick I'm gonna take this paper out because I don't want to mess it up with the glue stick if I don't do it correctly and I'm just going to put the glue stick all over even though when I get to the jack-o-lantern there we go it's falling butter fingers and now we put the mouth on just like this and I hold it for 10 seconds also okay one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay and there we go we have a little jack-o-lantern really cute and what's good about this is that um if you have a candle at home okay if you could ask your parents to light it for you and then you um, turn it on and it's really awesome you can even put it on the windowsill or you can put it you know at the door and it's gonna be really nice so let me show you that hold on a second <laughs> now uh, you could ask your parents to get a little cup you know a, a glass cup or maybe a candle that comes already inside the glass cup and what you do is the following you have your parents light the candle on Halloween night and place it inside the cup. Don't do this by yourself at home, okay? A grown-up has to do this, an older person. Now, let the candle flame up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the candle and then we're gonna have a little jack-o'-lantern because when the candle starts lighting up even more, you'll have more, um, more light. And if you turn off the lights, it's gonna look awesome. Ooh. All right, now what can, else can we do to the jack-o'-lantern? Well, if you don't want it to be so scary as mine, which is not that scary, but you could also put some leaves on it. You could take some green paper, all right? And you could draw some leaves, some like pumpkin type leaves like that. Maybe like, well, they look more like, like Christmas, but it's okay. You could just make up the leaves that you like. Never waste paper. Remember, guys, never waste paper. We always use the paper. If we don't use it for today's project, we'll use it for a mosaic about Greece or we'll use it for something else. But we don't throw away paper, okay? We keep them in, um, in a little box. And every time we do another art project, we could always have colored little pieces of paper okay now this one you fold wh however which way you want it doesn't really matter and um, you use the glue stick also all right and if you don't want it to be so scary you could put a little leaf here and you could put 
another leaf and I'm also going to give you a hint about doing this jack-o-lantern uh, with other types of uh, figures and characters for example let me finish this one and I'll show you if you're gonna have a Mexican Halloween party okay you could use your you could make yourself a skull I made this one before so you guys could see it okay because you could also do it at home and if you're gonna have another really scary party you could also make yourself a cat I haven't finished the cat because I wanted to put some whiskers on the cats I just didn't have time to do it so right now I'm gonna put some really 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 big whiskers because I love really big whiskers on cats I think they're so cute I love cats I'm allergic can't have cats but I love cats I wish I wasn't allergic to cats so I could have many 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 cats I would be like one of those ladies that have lots of cats at home they're so cute and so lovable so anyway so look I made some whiskers I cut out some paper made some long whiskers and what do you do with this also glue stick glue stick Ba -bum some glue stick let's see and you put the whiskers yes <coughs> oh my god well autumn is coming and i'm catching a cold so but i just wanted to make this video for you today because i wanted you guys to see Okay, so I'm gonna finish right now because I'm getting this cold. So, anyways, very simple. Three little lanterns that you can make for Halloween, and uh, <coughs> oh, those ghosts and those gremlins and those um, zombies are giving me the cold. I'm catching a cold. Oh no! Anyways, so. Here we go, you have here three lanterns that you can use for Halloween to decorate your party, to decorate your class, to decorate your home, to give it to your grandma or your grandpa for a present, okay? So remember, jack-o'-lanterns for Halloween, so the bad spirits that come out and roam the earth don't go to your house, okay? Love you guys, have a wonderful, wonderful Halloween.